In this video, we are going to look at the molarity and percent by mass worksheet. So the first question says, what is the molarity of a solution made when 7.3 grams of table salt, or NaCl, are dissolved to prepare 250 milliliters of solution? And as stated on the previous slide, molarity is moles divided by liters. It tells us how many moles of a substance we have per liter of solution. Um, and so we need two pieces of information in the problem. We need the number of moles and the number of liters. Molarity equals number of moles divided by number of liters. So from the problem, we are given an amount of substance, but our amount of substance is not in moles. It's actually given in grams. So we're going to have to take that number of grams of table salt and use a little bit of dimensional analysis to convert it to moles before uh, we can substitute into our molarity equation. Um, same thing with our volume. We are given a volume in the problem, but we're given the volume in milliliters. So before we can substitute into our molarity equation, we'll need to convert that volume to liters. So let's start with the amount of substance. 7.3 grams 7.3 grams of NaCl, and all we're doing is a simple mole conversion here, so I'll put it over 1, and I will multiply by a conversion factor. We want grams of NaCl to cancel, so that will go on bottom, and moles of NaCl uh, is what we desire, so we'll put that on top. And then, of course, we always put a 1 next to moles, and then we need to figure out how many grams there are in 1 mole of sodium chloride. And to do that, we'll need to look at a periodic table for the mass of sodium and the mass of chlorine. So sodium um, is 22.99, which I can round up to 23 grams, and then chlorine is 35.45 or 453, depending on what periodic table you have. So if we add those two masses together to get the total molar mass of NaCl, let's see what we get. 23 plus 35.45 gives me 58.45. So that's the number of grams, 58.45 grams of NaCl in one mole. So now we can solve this problem to figure out how many moles of NaCl we have. We'll simply do um, our 7.3 divided by 58.45 grams. 7.3 divided by 58.45 gives us um, a number of moles equal to 0 0.12489, which is a whole long number. Um, but since this is not my final answer, I prefer to keep more decimal places than I know I will need in my answer. Since my given values are given to two significant figures and two significant figures, respectively, um, I know that if I, as long as I keep more than two significant figures in my intermediate values, I shouldn't wind up with a rounding error in my answer. So here's our number of moles. Next, we have to determine our number of liters, and so this is just a simple metric conversion, 250 milliliters, and then we'll put milliliters on bottom, liters on top. We know liters to be our bigger unit, so we'll put a 1 next to our bigger unit, and then there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. I made my line a little bit long here. So all we're doing is doing 250 divided by 1,000. So that gives us 0 0.250 liters. So we have our number of moles, we have our number of liters. All that's left is to substitute these values into our molarity equation. So our molarity is equal to 0 0.12489 moles. Or if you round it differently, it shouldn't wind up with a big difference in your answer, divided by 0 0.25 zero liters, moles divided by liters. So if we divide this out and get an answer, that will be our molarity of this solution. So let's see, 0.12489 divided by 0.25 gives me 0 0.49956. And of course, I'm going to round to correct significant figures. My given values each have two significant figures, 
So I will keep the 4 and the 9 and look at my next digit to determine whether to round up or down. That 9 is going to make the 9 round up to a 10, which will also make that 4 round up to a 5. So my final rounded answer for my molarity is 0 0.50. The leading 0 is not significant. But this trailing zero is significant because it's to the right of the decimal point. So 0 0.50, and I can either put um, moles per liter, which is what molarity stands for, or I can just abbreviate my answer to 0 0.50 molar, capital M. Now this is generally what you'll see, that capital M standing for moles per liter. All right, on to number two. Two liters of a solution contains 25 grams of potassium permanganate. What is the solution's molarity? So we know that we need moles divided by liters. We are given liters in the problem this time, so we don't need to convert our volume, but we do need to convert our 25 grams of potassium permanganate to moles. So I'm going to start by writing out my given value unit substance to make that mole conversion. 25 grams, potassium permanganate. So we are going to need to do our crisscross to figure out what that formula is. I know I have potassium, which has a plus one charge, um, and then I have the permanganate polyatomic ion. And permanganate's formula is MnO4, and it has a negative one charge. So when we crisscross this, our formula is just going to be KMnO4. There'll be one of each ion. So KMnO4. It is important to show your crisscross, though, to make sure you are doing uh, the problem correctly and you have a correct formula, because when we are making conversions between grams and moles, it does affect our mass depending on what our formula is. So it is important that we actually do our crisscross here. Now grams of KMnO4 will go on bottom, and of course our moles will go on top. Takes a second to write all that down. Um, and then we just need to plug in some numbers. We know there's going to be a 1 next to mole, and then we need to add up our mass, our molar mass for potassium permanganate. So potassium's molar mass is 39.1. Uh, plus manganese is a molar mass, which let's see, let's find it on the periodic table, is 54.94. And then last but not least, we have four oxygens, so four times our molar mass of 16. So we add all this up, let's see, four times 16 gives me 64 plus 54 0.94 plus uh, 39.1. So I got 158 grams per one mole of KMnO4. It's a nice whole number there. So now when we do our mathematics, we're just going to divide 25 by 158. So 25 divided by 158 gives us 0. 1582 moles of KMnO4. Now this isn't our final answer. We do need to substitute this value into our molarity equation. So molarity we know equals moles over liters. So if we take that and substitute in our numbers, we have 0 0.1582 uh, moles divided by our liters, which is given in the problem as 2.0 liters. Moles divided by liters will give us our molarity. So let's go ahead and divide this out. 0.1582 divided by 2. And that gives me 0 0.0791. Um, and of course, I can either keep my units of moles per liter, or I can simplify to just molar, but first I should round to appropriate significant figures. 
looking back at my problem, each of my given values has two significant figures. So I'm going to keep one, two digits, and then look at the next digit over to determine whether I'll round up or stay at a nine. That one is going to have me stay at uh, 0 0.079. And then I can abbreviate my units for molarity as just a capital M molar. And there is our final answer.